All right, it's time for, I think it's, okay. I'm gonna call it the second to last series of the summer because uh, it's just, it'll just cause less confusion that way. Anyway, we are going to, for the second to last, that is a hot sun. Okay, I'm gonna get underneath this tree. For the second to last series, we are going to Seattle. And it's currently 11.30 in the morning. So yeah, it's hot. And our flight leaves at 1.59, so we gotta go to the airport. Which is amazing because I totally like going to the airport. Well, some parts of it are fun, some parts of it are just, you know, not fun. This here is the plane that is going to take us to there. It is currently flying, just entered Arizona not too long ago, and it's flying down over like Sholo in the White Mountains right now. Yeah, so it's got to come down here and get us. So yeah, that'll be cool. So I'm going all the way up here. This footage probably really sucks. I should use OBS. Anyway. Huh, okay. Echo lights off. And she's broken. Great. Our ride is here. You guys may remember this place from the Des Moines series. That's because it's the same place we, you know, went through to get to Des Moines. Uh, Missouri, we used the other one, which is a lot smaller, as you saw. So, yeah, glad to be back here. Okay, so we are at the airport now. We have yet to go through security, and I think we're actually going through that side this time, which is the same side we went through last time. Yeah. But I'm just confused because I came in from the other side. Would you look at that? Here we have security. You can't really film in there, so see you on the other side. This area is also familiar from the Des Moines series. The Bank of America ATM there is where I stopped and waited for my mom to go to the bathroom. Security is easier than ever with that pre-check thing, so I am glad I got it. Right there is the gate that we use to go to Des Moines.
this long for everyone else to get off, but... So there are dividers in the floor. Never thought there would be. It's fun. Gate. Oh, now I know why. It's way too busy out here. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. If it's a, if it's Greek yogurt, it's a deal breaker, and I don't want to risk it. So here we go. Now I'm thinking this one or one of these. Eh, no, I like this one more than those. Let's see. Better ones on here. This one's quite cool. Oh, well, my London one is a bottle. I don't know if we need another bottle of oh, What's this? I think that's cute. Yeah, I get that. Hmm. If her husband doesn't drink, maybe. Sure, there'll be more selections over here. I will be here 72 hours from now. I can pretty much guarantee you. It looks like I am, and it also looks like I'm going the right way, even though I'm gonna go down all these hills, which at least they have that, you know, easy, they have that, the rough stuff on it so that you can stop easily on them. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, in Des Moines, the zipper started coming apart on this thing, then when I left, the day I left from Missouri, I tried to zip it up, and the front of the apartment zipper thing just like broke off. So it's been bungee corded ever since. Like every time instead of zipping it, I would bungee cord it shut and that's the only way it would stay closed. But, whoo, here finally here's the secure area exit. So, turns out that airport is a bit tricky to get out of. You gotta go like across a bridge and then um, down to this parking garage thing to this. So yeah, we are gonna get into the town now. show you eh, whatever I'm not to show you look at this you can see the planes that's not that we flew we kind of flew like over around that lake with all the boats on it there and we kind of like we landed at the airport which is like way over there hmm okay dang yeah, oh, I think that I think that's the file as a research I think that Okay guys, one of the things that I was excited for um, on this trip was going to the Amazon Go store because it just sounds really cool. And the GoPro is recording upside down. Hmm, I have a hard time believing that that's it because it said to go over to 7th. There is a dome. Looks like it's made out of glass and metal. Now obviously this is from when this Amazon Go store was the Amazon Go store. Um, there are several now, but back when Linus went to it, there was only one, and it was that one right there. Yep. The fact that someone as busy as Linus Tech Tips would drive down from Vancouver to go to a store means it's gotta be a pretty freaking special store. Whoa. Okay. Now notice all those cameras. All right. Grapes, okay. If they have oatmeal raisin, yes they do. All right. Hmm, these, these are good. Normally I don't drink soda, but this is the one exception. Let's see, 49 cents, okay. Oh no, I forgot to film myself walking out. I guess I'll just have to go again. Okay, everything's here. Everything I got, nothing that I didn't. $15.87. Dang, I love it. So it turns out this building, this building, and this grassy area um, is an Amazon campus. And despite all the stuff they sell on their site for dogs, they don't want them in the grass. It's kind of understandable, actually. I wouldn't want random animals pooping in my yard either. One thing I really like about this city, and it might just be the downtown, but... It'd be even better if it was the whole city, is that the, the traffic lights don't make you stand right next to them for long periods of time. There's no buttons, yet somehow I've never had to stand at a light for more than about 10 or 15 seconds. 
which is amazing. I think that they're able to do that because, yeah. And most lights are just already green, or white in this case. I'm like, ah, they're timed so well. I don't, I don't get it. This is our 45 story hotel that we're on the 23rd floor of. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of the Seattle series.